This is one of those nights. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be looking at eight times angry audience members caused chaos. It's difficult, isn't it, not to conclude that I quite pleased. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at times the public was absolutely livid about something on screen or stage. Let us know in the comments if you've ever heckled anyone. Top 5% Question Time Because of its reliance on audience participation, Question Time often has irate people weighing in on the political issues of the day from the crowd. I'd like to call out Labour as liars. I am one of them people that he will tax more, and I am nowhere near in the top 5%. This man was no exception, and furiously raged against a Labour politician for daring to suggest his taxes were raised. The man was livid, but eventually admitted that he was earning £80,000 a year, which did put him in the top 5% of earners, statistically. I'm afraid on that you're mistaken. We're not going to raise income tax for anybody apart from the top 5% of earners. I We're am going not to in the top 5% of earners. It was hard for him to come to terms with this, but in fact, the average salary in the UK is around £33,000 a year and he was earning nearly three times that and seeing he couldn't afford to be taxed more. So you earn over £8,000? Yes, and I'm not in the top 5%. Yes, mm. it, that, I think that is the no, top I'm 5%. No, I'm not. Brands heckler, Russell Brand, Messiah Complex. Comedians have to deal with hecklers constantly, but this incident from one of Russell Brand's stand-up specials remains memorable. Right. <laughs> what we've got here is a person who's under the mistaken belief that they're funny. <laughs> It happened near the start of the show, but apparently one woman had already had a bit too much to drink and started shouting out. Bran tried to ask her politely to let him get on with his job, but she wasn't having it, yelling all kinds of profanities, mostly about Gandhi. Right, OK, we're moving on to... This is phase two we're moving on to now. That was phase one, diplomacy. Still, if she wanted a little bit of notoriety by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a professional comic, which is never a good idea, no matter how drunk you are, she got her wish. But this thing here, I'm at work. <laughs> this is not a conversation dynamic, honest. Cheater, the big fat anniversary quiz. <laughs> Those two who have cheated for the entire game by, like, blatantly texting members of the audience. <laughs> Another incident involving Russell Brand, on this edition of Big Fat Quiz, he was paired up with Noel Fielding again, and it was eventually revealed by fellow contestant Jack Whitehall that they'd been cheating the whole show. Have you answered? <laughs> Hello? You little shit! <laughs> that lad is an angel! Jimmy Carr confiscated Brand's phone and ended up calling the person who'd been texting him the answers, who was sitting in the audience at the time. But then, later on, their co-conspirator apparently started second-guessing what he was doing, and instead texted Brand the wrong answers to the questions. Russell, no, what have you gone for? Come in. Brand wrote them down regardless, and ended up embarrassing himself. Someone texts your message just saying common, and you went, well, that will... What else could that have <laughs> meant? Stage Invader, Britain's Got Talent. After a bizarre, and in some ways unsettling, performance, the judging panel gave their verdicts. Poor Amanda Holden had already been jump-scared once that day, and got another fright when a rogue audience member interrupted her. All I can say is I'm really glad I've got my big pants on for the end. He ran out and did a sweep of the panel, trying to press all the buttons before disappearing back into the crowd. The buzzers were reset promptly, but Simon Cowell wasn't happy about the affair, buzzing again to indicate his disapproval. Uh, by the way, for you... <laughs> it's not clear what the interloper was really trying to accomplish. 
Maybe he just really hated the performance and wanted to let everybody know. Noel Edmonds, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. For the first time this series, the public have been voting for the celebrities they want to keep in the camp. The person with the fewest votes will leave today. The audience members don't watch I'm a Celeb in person, of course, but that didn't mean angry viewers at home didn't have plenty of influence over this series. At the time, Edmonds was the most expensive celebrity ITV had sent down under, commanding a £600,000 paycheck. But he ended up getting sent in late, on day 5, and voted off first, on day 13. The first person to leave I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here 2018 is... No. Allegations of a fix came thick and fast, with some suggesting that Edmonds was always going to leave early and take a big payday. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Oh, come on. Bye. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. oh. I, am I supposed to look disappointed? <laughs> the whole thing was actually investigated. Though no evidence of wrongdoing was found, the public really got on the wrong side of ITV executives this time. Too much singing. Bodyguard the musical. Not many people will have witnessed this in person, but in 2023, a performance of the Bodyguard musical, an adaptation of the 1992 film, was interrupted by extremely rowdy guests with clips going viral. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I Will Always Love You might be one of the greatest songs in history, but you're not actually supposed to join in with the singers when they're doing it on stage in a musical. Well, some audience members either didn't know or didn't care about this theatre etiquette and had to be forcibly removed by security after they wouldn't stop singing along. Everybody actually stood up to cheer when the amateur singers were kicked out. Egged. Britain's Got Talent. If you thought someone pressing the buzzers was bad, wait until you remember the woman who got up on stage to lob eggs at Simon Cowell. And this happened in 2013, and the woman in question was award-winning musician and composer Natalie Holt. Holt interrupted a performance in the Britain's Got Talent final that year, and pelted Cal with eggs to try and raise awareness for the stranglehold he has on the music industry, both in the UK and in America. The performance continued, and Holt was quickly dragged off stage by security. She later wrote a column apologising to the act she interrupted, but stood by what she did. Apologies for, for, for that act, then. obviously that was not part of the act. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of what that was, so, so well done for carrying on. You were very professional. Thrown out. Question time. It was a hung parliament. I'm not a conservative, so I didn't lose anything. Um, so, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Say what you like about the top 5% bloke, but at least he wasn't so rowdy he got thrown out. The man in question this time started to get upset with panelist Gina Miller, accusing her of being a Tory, which she isn't, incidentally, and raving about the 2017 election result. Even if there is no deal with the DUP, the government can operate because they won. He was promptly asked to leave the studio by David Dimbleby, and proving he was all bark and no bite, got up and left. Well, now, hang on. No, we Listen, don't. I think you ought to leave, you know, because... It later came out that the man was Steve German, and that he'd supposedly already been in a foul mood before arriving on the show. He was the first person to ever be kicked out of Question Time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.